that makes you feel better. I, I'm like wearing the same thing. Toilet is running, luggage is still not here, but it's a beautiful day in London and we're gonna go get a coffee and it's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. We will do an Airbnb tour in this video because that did not happen in the last video. That is going to happen in this video. So I did just show you the bathroom because I wanted to show you guys how annoying the toilet has been. That was happening all night, waterfall function all night. Let's refresh the email to see if I got an update about my bag for the billionth time. Nope, no email. I'm wearing kind of what I wore to the play last night. So we are wearing the, kind of the same leggings. We're actually wearing a different kind of athletic bra. We're wearing the same turtleneck and borrowing Sarah's puffer jacket and then kind of my barn coat over the top. Some wool hiking socks and my tennis shoes. And that's kind of the look for today. Well, of course y'all know we're at Gales, which is like on every street corner here. So we probably sound like silly, not knowing what it is, but we were like, we have to go because we passed about a billion of them. This is kind of what we're getting up to this morning. I got an oat milk latte and this is a ham and cheese and leek quiche. Did I get it right? And a chocolate and almond croissant. And then Sarah got like a dark chocolate, hot chocolate. We're in boots right now because Sarah needed some cough medicine and I needed some tampons. Here goes Sarah Bug taking her cough medicine on the side of the road. <laughs> Just been coughing nonstop and I know it's annoying Sally Dora and she's not saying anything. It's actually not annoying me. That is foul. <laughs> it's like honey and menthol. Oh, okay, yeah, this is kind of like a food review channel now. Featuring glycerol and sucrose. Also, my perfume leaked in my bag last night. <laughs> and I just noticed, so. So today we've kind of decided to do our really touristy London day. So we're going to see like Big Ben and Buckingham Palace and all of that. We're getting on the tube and we're going there and we're gonna walk around. It is rather windy, so apologies if the sound is not perfect, but we're trying. to Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Looks like there's like a little, gorgeous. I know, it is like, this is actually the most open sky we've seen. Very good point. Very gray. It seems like there's a little Christmas market going on or something, so we're gonna go check it out, y'all. Yeah. Come with us to check out the Christmas market, <laughs> Trafalgar Square. If I can find it, I have a photo of me, I think, in this square. I know I have one of me by Buckingham Palace. I was 16 years old. <laughs> I like the mind the gap one. You could buy it if you wanted. I know I could. Christmas tree in the phone booth. Oh wait, I don't even see that one. Oh, that's funny. Is that the one you're looking at? No, that one. Oh, this one's cute with the little crown. I don't know, I like this one. I kind of wish it was a little bit smaller though. That's, that's really so sweet. sweet. It's got the crown. Wait, this one's good, just like the British car. And my dad would like that. I should buy that for him. We made it to Big Ben. Sarah's kind of taking a selfie. Do you want to get in? Uh, we're on our way to Buckingham Palace. And we're gonna see some beef eaters. Oh my god, that's crazy, I forgot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Us at Buckingham. Us in London. So we did just kind of try our hand at the bus system for the first time Sarah was navigating us. I did get a notification that my baggage is out for delivery again. And I think I'm literally going to sit in front of the door because I am not missing this. So uh, fingers crossed that they don't try to deliver it before we get home. We just got off the bus and now we're walking and it'll be just so funny if they already try before we get there. But I think we're good. I'm at stop number three this time. Yesterday I was stop number 25. So we made it back and I am fully 
sitting outside our Airbnb. It's like an apartment building. I'm scared if they knock, even though like our flat is right like near the store, I feel like I'm not gonna hear it. And they didn't call yesterday. And so I'm just like not relying on a phone call and I just like need to be right here. So I might be sitting here for an hour and a half. Like really, who knows? I just like keep hoping that like somehow perfect timing will happen for me at some point this trip. And like if they pulled up right now, that would be insane. And I think I kind of deserve some perfect timing like that. We have a reservation at four that we moved from yesterday and I wish we had just kept that yesterday. But how are we supposed to know that they wouldn't arrive within the time frame they provided? This time I'm hoping that they stay in the time frame that they gave because I am number three on the list. And so I feel like it's a higher chance of them being timely. Whereas 25 was at the end of the day. And so they probably got like delayed, delayed, delayed like throughout all of the different stops. We're already one hour into the time frame, So we have another hour to go. We're just kind of sitting out here praying for a miracle right now. Are you delivering suitcases? Yes. <gasps> oh! Can I get your first name? Uh, Sally. S-A-L-L-Y. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> That's our guy right there. <laughs> we love you. Oh my god. What a prince. First words out of his mouth. Missed you yesterday. He also didn't contact me. Congratulations. Sarah, think about how good our timing just was. I was sitting out there for less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, thank God we came home. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. This is huge. I'm so excited for the cheese barge now. Yes, you can wear whatever you want to the cheese barge now. Suitcase reveal. It's exactly how I remember it. I already kind of opened this flap. I took my daily gummies, of course. Here's kind of some puffers that we would have been wearing. And, oh, here's my big toothpaste so I don't have to borrow Sarah's anymore. Here's a book my mommy got me for Christmas. Here's a lot of my yarn. Here's a jacket my sister and my brother-in-law got me for Christmas, kind of a quilted corduroy, a lot of sweaters. I mean, really just kind of like the standard shit, y'all. Like nothing too insane. Oh, here's the skirt I got for Christmas that Greer also got. Oh yeah, I got that for my sister for Christmas. Sarah was also able to fix the toilet. So we kind of had two miracles happen today. Bag toilet okay we are heading to the cheese barge we found this place on tiktok or instagram reels yeah something like that one of the two but it's like a floating little barge we're going for afternoon cheese so it's not like a full meal it's just like wine and cheese and it looks really cute and i at first thought that the barge moved and right, it doesn't not all of the timing has worked out for us in our favor yes not yesterday but today i love it can't wait for cheese and whatnot <laughs> y'all would have loved the cheese bars and the Christmas lights and the cow and the cock and bottle. Y'all would have loved it. Sorry, you guys couldn't be there. Well, you know, of course we went to you know, Waitrose to kind of get some food three minutes before it closed and this man was yelling at us to kind of get out, to which I say, why did you let us in three minutes before it closed? We did get out before it closed. We took two minutes. We got some chips, otherwise known as crisps in the UK. Um, we also got some digestives, otherwise pronounced as, don't they pronounce them digestives? Uh, I was just gonna say like cookies. Yeah, spicy dark chocolate ginger cookies. Pop chips that are barbecue, which are actually the exact chips, oh my God. Which these are exactly the, oh my God. I literally have had two beers, you can tell. And the part on my hair is insane. I picked up these pop chips, which are barbecue flavor. And these are the exact chips that I kind of get at home. So like didn't really venture out on these necessarily, but that's okay. Picked those up and then Sarah thought, hey, Actually, why don't we go to McDonald's and see what they have different from us in America? And I said, Sarah, that's a great idea. And so that's what we did. We did go to McDonald's and I'm gonna show you guys the first item, which is actually the last item because I need to put it in the freezer immediately. This is kind of the Galaxy uh, Flurry from McDonald's, which I'm really intrigued by this. There's kind of chocolate stars on top. Gonna kind of pop this in the freezer. <clears throat> Give me a second. Put that paper towel on top. Yes, I will. Really 
really, really a scary freezer. So the freezer looks like she just grabbed a fistful of grass and just like sprinkled it and then poured water on top of it and let that freeze, if that's making sense. Six bananas frozen, but like in the peel. So like, I don't understand how you're gonna put that in a smoothie when it's in the peel. <laughs> because one time Catherine did that and I was like, I don't know how you get this out of the peel to put it in your smoothie. She probably couldn't. No, she couldn't. So then I threw them away because I was like, I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. We went ahead of, what was this called? McDonald's. No. <laughs> so it's gonna be like a chicken select and then also 20 chicken strip shareable share box nuggets. So it comes with 20 pieces of chicken, some are nuggets and some are strips is what we're working with right now. Right, and then it came with about 17 different sauces. It wouldn't let us pick just a few sauces. You would just fill out every single space. We ended up picking about like, I think it was like eight. We had to pick eight. We also got some large fries, which I'm gonna go ahead and assume those are, actually, I wonder if these are less salty than ours. Oh yeah, they taste the same. Wait, this is way more than I thought. Taking it out of the bag was a little bit drying. I don't know what the fuck we ordered. I thought it was 20 total, but this looks like 30 total. We didn't, they didn't give us our cheesy tots. We didn't order those. Oh. You just said I would get that or the fries. I don't understand. I didn't like, I had, we had one beer at the cow and we had one beer at the cock and bottle. And like, I did not feel a goddamn thing until we got into that McDonald's and I was like, suddenly I feel insane. Oh. No, I felt insane at the first bar. You want a water or something? Yeah. Get me a sparkling water. <laughs> we got some water bottles the other day and actually they were sparkling. Nothing like eating 20 pieces, no, 30, nothing like sharing 30 pieces of chicken at 11 p.m. Mm. What sauce is that? Ketchup. Uh oh. Sauce haul, we got ketchup, sour cream and chive dip, um, barbecue, smoky barbecue dip. That one looks good. Sweet and sour, which is normal. And then sweet curry, which I'm like very, very interested That's in. That's new and different. Oh, I like the curry dip. I'll try the sour cream and chive. Mm hmm I hate that. Really? I like this, it is smoky barbecue. I feel like if somebody likes like cream cheese savory, then that, that would be fine for them. That's not for me. Well, I like that, but like, will I like that on a piece of chicken? I don't know, man. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, that really just tastes like cream cheese. That's weird. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me really hits different. <laughs> Airbnb. Okay, why don't you show us or what? Let's shut this door behind you. Don't let the cold in. It's London. It's super, super cold here. Okay. First of all, you're just gonna see all of our shit <laughs> everywhere. Kind of our two big suitcases in the middle of the living room. Best part of this place is just the two giant windows where you can look out into our garden. We do have a garden that we have still yet to walk through. Our couch where we do watch Love Island. This right here is Pinocchio wearing a silly little hat. Yeah, gonna get a, a detailed shot of that. We have just a gorgeous pride candelabra going on. And over here we have just like another decorative kind of a British police cap, we believe. We're gonna move over here into the kitchen, which the kitchen is just kind of a bar piece with a mirror. We do have a dishwasher actually. We have a silly little see-through dinosaur where you can see all of his inner workings. We have a sign that says, fuck it, that's gorgeous. This is kind of our charging station with our one universal charger that we bought from Comfix down the street. Here is our fridge, our leftover McDonald's. Oh my God, that fridge smells so much like McDonald's. <laughs> it smells foul. Ooh, gorgeous. <laughs> 
gorgeous. I'm obsessed, dude. Ew. Ew, it smells awful in there. It's... Okay, we're gonna head on over here. This is the dining table, which you literally couldn't see it again. <laughs> like, there's so much stuff on it. Over here is our bathroom, which our bathroom is kind of gorgeous because it does have heated floors as well as a heated towel rack, which is just something you don't really find in an apartment in America. But I guess it's super cold here. There is no mirror over the sink. However, there is a mirror all along this wall. This is the toilet that was not working and Sarah fixed. This is the shower that just doesn't have a door on it. So it just like leaks out onto the floor. And also the light is an automatic timer. So it will shut off if I stop moving. In a second. Okay, it normally shuts off like really fucking fast. I don't know what's happening. Okay, <laughs> so that'll happen when you're peeing which is always kind of like a fun little game. This is where Sarah and I have been sleeping. I'm on this side, she's on this side. More of our shit kind of on the ground. The closet is really kind of spacious, kind of like a two tier closet space. Our window, okay, so our window is like right out onto the street. This is kind of where I was sitting waiting for my luggage right here on the sidewalk. So we do kind of have to close this pretty much immediately if we wanna like wanna get dressed or if you know we're leaving the house, you know, we don't want anyone to like kind of see directly in. We also get beautiful white noise during the night of the cars going by, which that's actually not sarcasm. I actually haven't minded it. I think it's kind of like fun. Oh wait, should we show the closet? There's one really cool item in the closet that Sarah found and I surprised her with one morning and she just like was not under it. She was not laughing at the joke. More just cause it's like, just like kind of gross. Okay. Hat reveal. <laughs> Our tea. <laughs> we make our tea in this. Ew, take it all. <laughs> it's freaking me out. Why? Why? We're walking to this breakfast place called Farm Girl, which I've seen on a few lists, so comes highly recommended. I feel like it's one of those places that's like Instagrammable based on the name. Doesn't it sound like what's that place in LA that's called like um, um Butcher's Daughter? Butcher's Daughter. Farm Girl to me sounds like Butcher's Daughter in LA. Like it just sounds like a place that's like good food, but like like people want to take photos of the food. That's what I'm imagining in my head. I don't know if that's true. There, and then I think we're gonna go to Harrods after that. But first, coffee. Coffee and breakfast. We're gonna go to Noops and get some hot chocolate because everybody's talking about it and it's on every yeah. single corner. And, and Sarah's. So, and did we discuss? yesterday what the hot chocolate i had oh i actually don't know Gales. i don't think we did the <laughs> hot chocolate sarah had yesterday at gales was like literally just like a melted bar of dark chocolate it was insane like milk in it it was like the thickest and richest like i felt if you just like you know know what a chocolate bar tastes like like that's what it was and everybody's talking about noops hot chocolate and that is what gales was like yeah like, then like what, what is, is noops, noops like <laughs> and is gales better and kind of like a hidden gem I don't know. I'm really scared, but I'm really excited. I haven't had a hot chocolate yet this trip. Yeah. And I feel like I need to start doing that daily personally. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. It is New Year's yeah, Eve. Yeah, happy New Year's Eve. And we're going out happy tonight with some strangers. Right. We're going out with Will and Arden and Connor's friends that live here. Are y'all going to a New Year's Eve event or 
which mug do you want? Do you want the bunny one or do you want cherry pick people, property and construction recruitment specialist, putting people first? Why don't you just give me the one that you think that I would want? Okay. Gucci Flora perfume. She got me this one and then she got my sister the one that's like in a similar box, but it's purple, which I guess is like a lavender version. I'm gonna open it and we're gonna use it tonight. I'm gonna ring in the new year with my new perfume. Our friend Sarah here is like a little bit of a perfume connoisseur. Would you say you collect perfumes? I, yeah, I just have always like loved perfume and scent. So we'll kind of get her take on the Gucci Flora. Yeah, I can't remember if that's the one that my sister gave me if she gave me a different iteration. Gorgeous Gardenia. Aw, it is a really cute bottle. It is interesting that it's not clear so you can't see how much is left, which I feel like the most perfume bottles are clear. Oh yeah, it smells good. I feel like my like Marc Jacobs Daisy, like that's floral, but it's like a very clean floral, whereas this just feels like, like just like floral. Does that make sense at all? Which one is yours called? Grandium Florum Jasmine, but it's called Gardi Gorgeous I Gardenia. This sample of gorgeous jasmine. Oh. Blue bottle. Oh my god, you, me, and Mary Wittress. This is, is that, she, you said she had purple? Yeah. Wait, I don't wanna smell that one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That smells like something I had, that smells like Marc Jacobs Lola or something. Are we matching perfumes tonight? Um, no, I'll probably okay. still wear my rose one. But that one, that one definitely is different. Yeah, definitely different. Well, you know that we are showing up two hours late to meet these uh, strangers at the bar that are friends with Will and Arden and Connor. They said they're gonna be there at six. We were gonna do seven. Naturally, we're probably gonna be there at about 8.30. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because we have, we have hours to go, which is why we were planning on getting there late. They were getting there early because they wanted to get a table, one of their favorite local pubs. So we didn't need to be there to help them get that table. You know, we'll just like walk right on in and hopefully they'll have the chairs. Ready. This yeah. is my perfume I'm wearing. Oh, your kit that is very rose. So this is the orchid actually. Oh, sorry. No, I feel it's awful. fine. Yeah. Do you want to help me put this bow in my hair? I would love to, Sarah. Let me help you with that right now. It's real long. Gotta kind of get it even, you know? Right. God, this is so long. How do you do this <coughs> yourself? I've never done it myself. Oh. How did I fuck that up so badly? I don't Nobody. know, man. Let me do that again. I don't like can always kind of chop the other end of it and make it even that no. way. No. Dead rally, dead rallies. Rallies, dead rallies. Dead rally, dead rallies. But daddy's old Teddy. Do you think people are obsessed with Saltburn here? I don't know, we can find out though. Yeah, we should ask them. Hey, have you guys seen Saltburn and or Four Things? Because they all have British accents in them. I don't know how long you want the loops. Maybe like a little bit longer and then I'll be fine. Going to Rye. We are about to go. We have been 
trekking through the city. Which will be the next video. Last night was just gorgeous, you know? It was gorgeous. <laughs> Made new friends, mm -hmm. like lasting memories. Always fun, you know, kind of like meeting up with friends of friends because then you find like one thing that you're like, we both know about this one thing. Let's yeah. talk about that for now. And then you kind of like don't let up on it. Right. And it like becomes a big joke. And it was really fun to see their flat because we were like, okay, where is everyone? kind of living. Yeah. And their place was stunning. It was gorgeous. gorgeous. I mean, there was, was four a people. four story house. Yeah, I was like, there's a lot of more steps in there than I would have thought. Did you see their kitchen with skylight in it? Yeah, they had a lot of skylights. It was crazy. And we just like played fishbowl. Playing fishbowl with a bunch of British people was so interesting because they were naming celebrities that we did not know who the fuck they were. Right. And then we wrote down someone that they were like, who is that? Kyle Richards. Well, Kyle Amy Richards. Wrote that Amy down. knew. Oh, yeah. Well, Amy like knew a lot of like um because she knew Trisha Paytas. Yeah. She knew. Yeah, she was. I wrote like, Trish. Alan Carr and Jimmy Carr. Yeah, I've heard of Alan Carr because he he's like a big host. I wrote down like Donald Trump, and then one of them wrote down Margaret Thatcher, and I was like, this is right. so silly. That's Alan Carr. Yeah, I don't know him. No, oh. I miss him though. Me too. You know, it's all coming back knowledge from like One Direction's past. The pub that we went to where we first met them, I think was my favorite of the <clears> pubs that we've been to. Oh yeah. Was, like I liked the inside really and the outside was really sweet. Yeah, it was nice that they had like like an outdoor <laughs> back patio. They called it a beer garden. You know what happened at the bar? Remember when that guy dropped all the cups? Oh my god. <laughs> You know how when you're in a bar and someone's like like clearing all the cups and they have like a giant stack and they try to balance it, which I never understand why. I they don't do know. That. Like it, you have to have. I don't know. I would rather just do it like a stack like this big. Yeah. His was like this big. Huge. And like one in the middle just like went and they all went out. Never. Like, the entire bar was like ooh. <laughs> well, then that one guy Ben, he was like, they all normally when that happens at a bar, everybody goes way. Yeah, that's what, that's what um, Jacob was telling me too. He was like, but it was a little bit more. Yeah, he was like, it was a little bit more of a sad tone. Right. Right. Kind of check out the next vlog to kind of see us in Rye, which we are really so fucking excited for. Yeah, we're gonna go hit up the noobs. We're gonna hit up the fish and chips. Mm -hmm. We're going to get served dinner and breakfast at our inn, mm -hmm. which is haunted. But every person we told last night, they were like, where are you going in the countryside? We were like, Rye? And they are like, why? That's right. so fucking random. Like, I've never even been there. But it's because Will Darvishire kind of recommended it, and we just yeah. kind of blindly said, okay, we'll, right. go, we'll go there. They were like, oh, y'all are only specific Will Darvishire to yes. work. All of this is curated by Will. Okay, well you can go ahead and you know kind of like follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat and Letterboxd and Twitter, which is now X, and those are all the places that you can find me. And with that, this is Goodbye. Goodbye. Happy 2024 New Year. Oh my god, my hair. Maybe it's because it's, you know, it hasn't been washed.